The dictionary defines bombshell as one that is sensationally shocking or amazing, and so our Lisa Bernbach is focused on what it takes to be one in this morning's <laughs> Yikes, I'm a grown up. Belby, good morning. Good morning, Bryant. When do you think <laughs> <laughs> was the last time anyone called me a bombshell? Well, the answer is never. But I've discovered firsthand that the term has evolved into something quite different than from when I was growing up. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. The bombshell, an icon of mid-century American popular culture, emulated by such beauties as Marilyn Monroe, Lana Turner, and Brigitte Bardot. When we think of these actresses in the term bombshell, the adjectives that come to mind are sexy, attractive, and, well, ditzy. But the bombshell is back, and she's no dummy. It's a whole new branch of feminism, actually. Um, you know, we're not burning the bras, and we're not staying home. We're kind of at the greatest stage of being a woman right now, I feel. You can be beautiful, and you can be smart, and you can be taken seriously, and you don't have to wear a pinstripe suit to work and emulate men in order for people to look at you as a powerful, smart person. Christina Cooley was the inspiration for Lauren Stover's new book, The Bombshell Manual of Style. We met up at New York's Russian Tea Room, a longtime haunt of the glitterati. Christina would, you know, was this amazing woman who would just sort of walk in front of traffic and it would stop. She would come into morning meetings with a skin-tight sweater and beautiful Veronica Lake hair. And uh, one day I threw a grammar question out to the room and she was the only person who answered. Eureka! The idea for the book was born. <laughs> and I just thought, you know, the bombshell is not just about being beautiful. She's complex and intelligent. And I started to um, sort of study bombshells like, like a field anthropologist. You know, they were an exotic species to me. Research involved not only her muse, but a look at classic bombshells and roundtable discussions with friends. Not all beautiful women are bombshells, or are they? I don't think classical beauty necessarily makes a woman a bombshell at all. I think it's an inner radiance. Oh, that's wonderful. A bombshell believes in her fantasies. She may be wearing a rhinestone bracelet, but in her mind it's Cartier. She may have an imperfect body, and uh, she will still radiate confidence. She doesn't need to be perfect. She still believes she's a goddess. But there are some key characteristics these deities share, like the way she sits. I think this is, you know, this is one way. You know, they might um, do this. So, you or they the might, you know, it's your little like platform of comfort. It's your or how she dresses. You really need a great pair of high heels and the rest just sort of comes together. Maybe a little, you know, red lipstick, a little perfume to help your emotional state. And then there's the diet, or lack thereof. But you know, bombshells love to eat. They're not ashamed of it. They celebrate life. Sophia once said, everything you see, I owe to spaghetti. You're not saying everyone should run out and become a bombshell. You've actually nailed it because it's not about rules. It's really an exploration. This is, you know, here's what's gone before you. What appeals to you? What talk? You know, what speaks to you? With the help of Lauren and Christina, I attempted to transform my look from preppy <laughs> to bombshell. What's so funny? Nothing. Just the way you keep grabbing and <laughs> preening. So the big difference between, for example, a bombshell and a hottie is very little, except that a bombshell is very feminine and also a little bit of a prude. And you don't, oh. yeah, she, you know, she never calls men. She never picks up men at a bar. She, it's not that she plays by the rules, as it were, but she's um, a coquette. Gotcha.